What's up people, so if you remember, uh, some time ago, I did a video with the Strix3090 and it was one of the most watched video on this channel and we were overclocking that GPU <coughs> using GPU Tweak 3. Now, because we are using an MSI uh, GPU, we're gonna use MSI Afterburner and we're gonna show that everyone can do overclocking in a safe way and you don't need basically any uh, custom cooling unless you want to go like the extreme way under under vaulting you know going past some limits what i want to show is like if you play around with this uh, sliders over here in msi uh, msi afterburner you don't risk anything like you know crashing your card for good breaking uh, breaking your card or this kind of uh, stuff the only uh, risk that exists is a hard restart from the bottom so let's go and see what are the changes that I've made uh, first. So I moved the sliders to the max for the power limit and temp and um, fan speed are cranked up to 100%. This is from this position I want to start the, you know, to move in this one, the core clock and the memory clock. Now the previous game that I used for testing the, the new settings with the 6590 was Watch the Legion. But now we're going to use Cyberpunk for this 1490 and we're going to use only 4K native resolution. Now, because I did some testing earlier, I know where I can like push this card at least in terms of memory. And I know about the clock, core clock as well, where it's going to crash. But I just want to show you that everything is safe, at least for this model. And this is like, I want to say something else before I apply any numbers. Uh, if you have a Zotac or a Pallet, I would not recommend you to overclock those GPUs because of the materials they used in the, in the you know in the cards. And if you watch the reviews from big reviewers, those are the like least recommended cards to be overclocked. So I'm not sure about the quality of the memories on those GPUs. I repeat, is about Pallet and Zotac, Palette and Zotac, if you have these two brands, I don't think you should uh, overclock your GPU, even with, uh, you know, a, sli uh, a small overclock, just use it how it is and, you know, pray for the best, basically. <laughs> but for, <coughs> sorry, for everyone else, I think it's pretty safe to do what I'm doing now. So I'm going to start with 500 uh, megahertz. You know what? Should we start with 500? No. Let's start with 250. 250 on the memories. And I'm going to start with 150 on the core clock. And usually, you know, I have like a game already open in the taskbar. But this time, I didn't open it because, to be honest, it's not recommended. Lately, with this 1490, I, I've noticed that the games are crashing if you keep them if you keep them in the taskbar here open and you're applying this uh, these settings on the GPU, the game will crash. And you will think is because you went maybe a little bit overboard with the settings, but no, it's from the game engine. So let's go uh, in uh, Cyberpunk and see if it holds up. So my goal here would be to reach 11,000 on the memories, which I know I can do it and 3000 on the core clock or at least as close as possible to 3000 on the gpu core clock so let's see how uh, how it goes with this settings all right so we are in cyberpunk and i'm going to show you the settings really really quick uh, video okay resolution blah, blah, blah. Uh, the lss is off so we're going to test as i said we're going to test only raw 4k now, I'm not talking about the performance. You decide if it's worth it or not. And this kind of uh, this kind of stuff. I just want to see where this uh, GPU will crash, or if I'm going to be able to reach uh, 3,000 with stock cooling and 11,000 on the memories. So for now, I think it holds. It, I played it earlier. There's no danger of uh, crashing over here, and you could play this for a long time. If you're okay with uh, you know the power draw over there, which is to be honest is a little bit surprising. Um, 
I just want to make sure that everything is applied. Yeah. Oh, but this is 15. I want 150. I hope it's not going to crush. Alright. 150. There you go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. It's 29.10 on core clock. So we are 90 megahertz from 3000. And then 10,700 megahertz on the memories. This one holds. So these settings are solid. The GPU temperature is more than more than satisfying. Right? 49 uh, Celsius is absolutely great. The power draw went up. To 430. I'm a little bit surprised in a good way because I was expecting by default this GPU to be somewhere around 430, 440. Uh, but no, it's like in many games, I have the same power draw as a 3090. I'm not shitting you. I mean, if you you can watch my previous uh, videos, previous benchmarks, and you can see I have side by side. Uh, the difference between the 3090 and the 4090 in terms of power draw is not that big. And I don't know where these uh, reviewers are taking those numbers. Maybe they are, you know, staying with the, with the GPUs overclocked all the time. But this, for me, for over 420 power draw is like an exception. It's not the, it's not the base. So, yeah, it's holding here. Uh, Let's go and try to increase memories, maybe. Yeah, let's go and try increase memories because it's less. There's a less chance to crush, especially if you do it the way I'm doing it now. So let's go and get the memories up. So we're gonna go 300 on the memories. There you go, 10 800 with the same core clock. So memories are solid on this GPU and the core clock should be fine as well if let's say you mount a water cooling solution on this GPU and if you want to reach the 3000 probably you're going to need that. I'm not sure, who knows, maybe maybe we're going to we're going to get close. The the closest I got was uh, 29 Look, 29.50 that I've seen now on the core clock, so missing some 50 megahertz there. But 29.10 is like solid, and you can play this for hours, definitely. And with that kind of temperature, it's kind of climbing a little bit now. 49.51. But it's uh, it's okay. I mean, for this uh, for this kind of settings, it's cooler. This GPU is cooler than the 3090. Also, the 3090 was not able to stay in this kind of temperatures, even like in stock, uh, like without any overclock applied. I'm telling you, this it's it's a solid solid brand. So if you want to go for an MSI, this MSI Supreme X is just great, and all the reviews and. All the big reviewers out there gave uh, gave this card a very very good uh, welcoming. So let's go and do a little bit more. Let's go on four hundred. I think you can you can hear the the fans ramping up. I mean, more than this, they are a hundred percent. So they can't just maybe only if they fly over the you know over the window or something. <coughs> oh god. I have a bad cough. Oh to reject. I don't wanna I don't want any phone calls now. I'm about to hit eleven thousand on the on the memories. Just leave me alone guys. I'm not doing any missions. I've started this game again to play it, you know, for real, but this time it's a check. I try to I try to recreate my my girlfriend. To be honest, in every aspect, I'm gonna play with her. I'm gonna make her famous in the underworld. <laughs> oh come on! 
Shut up. I want to see the numbers. Go away. I want to see the numbers. Come on, go away. Okay, so obviously it holds. Let's let's hit the eleven thousand on the memories. So one more, one more try. There you go, eleven thousand, eleven point two. Probably you could go even higher. And if this uh, video gets like uh, good feedback, we're gonna go extreme on the memories with stock cooling. I, I just want to, you know, repeat this with stock cooling. I don't have any water cool, uh, cooling solution for this GPU. I'm just relying on what they provided. So it holds. It holds absolutely great. I don't see any artifacts. I don't see any glitches. I don't see any nothing. Nothing bad is happening here. Now, the problem will start now. Because we're gonna move the slider, the core clock slider, and we're gonna go from 10 to 10, uh, 10 to 10 megahertz. Yeah, we're gonna go like this because we are already 20, uh, 29 10, and I've seen a 29 50 also a jump. So let's not risk it. I wanna see how high I can get before the game crashes. Plus, this is not the way to do it. I repeat, you should just do your settings and then come into the game but let's let's do it this way let's do it the hard way so now let's play so we are 150 now let's do 175 it should be fine i mean there you go 29 25 but still most of the time is in 20 Yeah, twenty nine, twenty five. Okay, twenty nine, twenty five. It's it's holding. That's uh, that's important thing. The power draw is kind of the same, although it's more steady over four hundred and fifteen watts. The temperature, GP temperature, is not that uh, high. Not that crazy over what it was. It's basically the same. So 29, let me find a better background. There you go, 29 something, 29.5. Let's go and apply a little bit more. So we are 175, let's go to 100. This is where the danger zone starts. I mean, danger zones in the terms of like crashing. There you go, 29.55. So 29.55 on the record with stock cooling, nothing, nothing else. We're gonna try to, you know, to keep this game playing a little bit. It might, it might hold because last time when, uh, when I tried to hit 3,000, uh, I didn't move the fans. To 100% and I kind of left uh, the MSI afterburner to control the ramping up of the fans but now because the GPU is pretty cool at uh, 50 degrees we might be able to to hit 3000 so let's stop again let's stop in a position that we have a better background All right Let's go again. So now I'm really going to go 210. I'm going to go from 10 to 10. Oops. What is this? All right. 2970. I've seen a 2970. 2970. There you go. And it's fine, and we have 52 degrees on the GPU core. Wow, 2970 with stock 
cooling and 11,000 on the memories. Wow. I hope, I hope I'm gonna be able to reach 3,000. It's gonna be great. I mean, great, great, great as a proving the quality of the, uh, of the GPU, the materials used and uh, so far. I repeat, don't don't try this if you are using a Zotac or a Palet. Because I'm not sure about those, and I'm I'm not the one who's saying it. There are the people you know that really tested those cards, and they are like, you know what? Just don't take your chances to to overclock these GPUs because you might have a nasty surprise. So let's let this is the important step here. Let's go to 20. 20. Apply. Oh, I hope it didn't crash. 29.70. Still 29.70 like last time. 29.55. 40. Come on, 70. So it didn't apply any thing. All right, twenty nine seventy. All right, I have ways to you know to to bring the the temperature of the GPU even lower, but that's for for another video. I'm gonna apply my thirty ninety you know thirty ninety craziness. If you remember the video, all right. So obviously it stays on twenty nine seventy. I'm afraid it's gonna crash if I'm gonna apply uh, something else, but let's uh, let's see. I'm gonna save the video here. Okay, so the video is saved. Let's go to 30. Twenty-nine eighty-five. I've seen twenty-nine eighty-five. Yeah, it's stable in twenty-nine eighty-five. Woo! Come on, we can hit 3000 with stop cooling. 29 with 11,000. Just mean in like two hours I have to go to work and I'm overclocking the this GPU. Alright, let's let's try. It. It's stable. 2985. So 15 MHz. I just want to put 15 megahertz on, on this one. So 30, 45, 245. Let's see. Yeah, it crashed. No way. All right. So not 235. Yeah, 15 megahertz. Oh my God. So close. So close. And the power draw is like, look at the power draw, 375 watts. 40, 33, 40, 40. Yeah. So these are, apparently these are the limits for now. And we're going to try to hit that 3000 and make it work. Not sure if, let's say, going under 11,000 on the memories is going to help the core clock. We're going to have like some headrooms to... Yeah, and crush. Ha! <laughs> yeah, so that was it, guys. You, you've seen, uh, you've seen my limits, um, at least for now, with this uh, GPU. But I think, I think it's cool. No, I mean, eleven thousand, and definitely you can go like two hundred, uh, two hundred megahertz on this one. I think it should be more than 220. As soon as you go over 230 or hitting 230 megahertz on core clock, you're gonna start having problems. <clears throat> so that's uh, that's my video for today. Uh, thank you for watching, and you know, apply whatever you want, and you decide if it's worth doing it or not. Until then, until next time, take care and stay safe.